Hello everyone, welcome back to Quick Coding Bytes. Today, we will be looking at a topic that comes up in ACSL contests, pre, post, and infix notation. On ACSL contests, you're told to convert from pre to infix, post to infix, and back from infix to pre, infix to post, and evaluate mathematical expressions in any of these three forms. So let's get started. In reality, we are very familiar with infix notation already. It's a notation that we use every day in math. So consider an expression as such, 5 plus 7 divided by the product of, four, of 8 and 4 plus 9, and then you're squaring that entire thing. So this expression I wrote is slightly complicated and can be written in one line in the following manner. So I just put parentheses here and it kind of combining groups and making sure that the correct order is taking place before I square it. So this isn't anything new. I just use parentheses to rewrite the expression. But there's a deeper connection to this. How do we know exactly which operation to do first? It's because we have the order of precedence. We use PEMDIS, parentheses, exponent, multiplication and division, and addition and subtraction to determine which operations to do. Terms with equal precedence, such as multiplication and division, are evaluated from left to right. So first we evaluate all the parentheses, which is, this would be um, 12, and this would be 13. We would do uh, multiplication and keep following the parentheses um, until we were able to collapse this entire um, expression. Computers, however, cannot use this way of writing expressions. Um, infix notation, so this is known as infix notation. It's very easy for us humans to understand as we're able to clearly see what operations we have to do. Pre and postfix, which we'll learn about how they work later, are easier for computers to parse. The big advantage in pre and postfix notation is that there's never any questions like operator precedence or which operator I should do first. Computers don't need to know PEMDIS, you don't have to program it. With pre and postfix, computers can use a stack data structure in order to evaluate the expression. So now let's get into it and let's learn about pre and postfix notation. In prefix notation, the operator is put before the operands. In this form of writing expressions, there's no need to write parentheses. So let's first determine an algorithm we can use to convert an infix expression into prefix. So the first step, which we have already done, is to add parentheses to every operation required. Because we should be able to solve this entire expression inside parentheses to find the answer. So we did that right here. We converted this, I guess you can think of it as a multi-line expression as you would probably need two lines on your paper into a single line with parentheses. So you just keep following inside the parentheses and you know exactly what to do. So the second step would be to write down the operands in the same order as they appear in the infix expression. And then with repeated scans, determine what operation you would do. And then for each term, write down the operand before the operators. So that may seem a little complicated, but I'm going to break it down for you. So for this expression, let's figure out what the prefix notation is. So what's the first thing you would do here? Well, I would take 5 and 7, and I'm adding them. So as I mentioned earlier, in prefix, the operator is put before the operand. So let's convert that part. That's going to be um, uh, let me move. Let me move down a little bit so we have space. Okay, um, and so this would be plus five seven. So that's all I did. I just converted this tiny section um, over. And now let's look at the next thing you would do. What's the next thing you would do? Well, you would do four and nine. You would do the addition. So let's write that down. Plus four and then nine. What's the next thing you would do? Well, you would multiply this entire thing by eight. So remember, you're gonna put the operator and then your two operands. Well, the operator, well, you, one of the operands is actually this entire expression. So you would do 
multiplication, and then it here. And what's the next step you would take? Well, the next step you would take is to divide this entire thing by this entire thing. So put your division sign, and um, then you're fine because these two are the two operands. Last but not the least, you're um, raising this to the power of two, this entire thing. So you would put the um, carrot here and you would leave the two here. And as simple as that, it's very, very simple. I'm just gonna go over it one more time of exactly what I did is I see the first thing I would do is five plus seven. So I put the plus sign here, I put the two operands I have. Next thing I did was four plus nine. So again, I put um, the plus sign and then I put four, nine. After that, I was gonna take this entire operation or this entire expression and I'm multiplying it by eight. So I put the multiplication sign in an eight. I'm dividing this operand and this operand um, well, I'm just gonna, let me use a different color to explain. I'm dividing this operand and this operand, so division sign with the two operands, and then last but not the least, I'm taking um, this entire expression from here to here and raising it to the second power. So as long as you remember that you have to put the operator and then the two operands, you should be golden as you already know how to convert to infix using this original expression. You convert it to infix and then you just put the operator before the two operands. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can do infix notation. So if you understand prefix notation, then postfix notation is the exact same thing except one tiny difference. That tiny difference is that with the prefix post, um, it means that you're going to put the operator after the two operands. So if you're going to take this expression and let's try to convert it to a postfix, first thing you would do, 5 plus 7. So this time I'm going to put 5 and 7, and then I'm going to put the addition. Next thing, what would you do? You would do 4 plus 9, so the two operands, then the operator. Then you take this entire thing, multiply it by eight. So eight here, multiplication. You would divide these two expressions because of that. So just put the division sign right there. Next thing you would do, last but not the least, square it. So two and then carrot. And as simple as that, that's, that's the entire uh, infix notation converted to postfix notation. So as you can see, this isn't very difficult. This mainly takes practice. And once you get enough practice on this, you're good to go as you'll know exactly what to do. But now if you're gonna work the other way from prefix to postfix back into infix, you take an operator which is right next to the two operands, whether in prefix it's before or after, and you put the parentheses between it and, uh, or you put the operator between it and then you put parentheses around it and you build off from there. So hopefully these notations made sense now. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more.